Oh, it's the same fucking team. Oh, God. It's the same team that fucked me last time. Again, with a massive TV advantage. Oh, well. Well, at least, at least justice is served if I lose this game. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, man. There's dodgy dwarves. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. At least I've got a tackle now. Yeah. You managed to get removals this game. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Muscle Ward. Yeah. Um, he's got 240 in money, so at least. No oh, man, what if he puts a wizard on you? What if it's a snap? Be. I bet it's someone snapping you. Yeah, probably is. Probably is. Who else this... would have that much money saved for no reason? This fucking team. It's... I'll play a game, save up some money, snap gym later tonight. Dodge on his strength four. Dodge on his pommer. What's his... Throw a rock and get the ref cancelled. Random level three stadium. Not even a good record. I bet no, there's definitely two on. One tagging the ball and one on a black orc. Uh, below best for goals. Three yeah. squares was in range of the handoff. It was definitely two. Yeah, I, I'm, I was pretty sure it was a mate. It was a five plus hunt catch. It's opponent. Yeah, concession win or bust. Yeah, so I got three ninety, um, so I can get the wizard and and um, Borak again. Obviously, got to go down to zero money to. <laughs> there's no, there's no. Um, and if he didn't have that money in hand, I wouldn't even be able to get this much, would I? And I mean, I've got it. I got a shot. Obviously, sucks to be down a Nurgle warrior in this matchup, but thirteen players now. Got a dirty player. Got a um, got a great carrier. Got some guard of my own this time. Got a mighty blow of my own. If only he'd got another two cars, and I could have had a mighty blow claw. Could have really put the hurt on dwarves. But obviously, it's going to come down the claw palm. And um, the wizard and Borak. I don't really like Borak TBH. Do you not? I, I think last time we only had one man on the bench or a one man bench team. And with your DP, uh, DP on dwarves is shit. But I don't really think Borak added a ton. Tell you what, though, because you're down on them. Yeah. Borak is giving you that pseudo self. He's, he's strength five, Probably isn't he? He's, he's got loads of guard. I can use his strength five to make two Ds and get assists. And yeah. Um, yeah. That was a five plus catch. If only you could get uh, Black off. With Nurgle. Yeah. Like a big strength uh, claw fella would be amazing against a duel. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm, I'm just getting him for the strength five block. You know, yeah. that that's all it is. The mighty blow is probably not going to have an effect because they're armor nine. The dirty player, I'm pro <laughs> well, I'll, I might foul on turn 16 with him as a spite foul. But basically, and I guess if get the ref happens, um, you, you could foul after my dirty player's been sent off. Um, but yeah, he's an extra player, and he's he's more strength, especially with me down, being down a warrior. Um, Harry Coop points out Cheney. Claw and wrestle, wrestle to down the dwarves. Gives you an eight move option. No Cheney. Cheney? What about Cheney? I wouldn't mind Cheney over Borak. Well, yeah, if I could. <laughs> Can you not get? I haven't looked at Nurgle stars. No, no, they just get like chaos ones. No fucking hell, if I could have Cheney, I would. Holy shit. Um, but no, you're not. You're not allowed. So what is it? Loot grip and Borak and Nashrak, Black Hoof, and um, this is the guy Chainsaw guy. Oh, you can't get Black Hoof. Who? Black Hoof, six strength blitzes with claw and mighty glow. Yeah, yeah, but it's just he's not as good as Block, is he? That's the thing. You need Block. He doesn't have Block. Yeah. You need yeah. Block against dwarves. So I think this is. Um, Happy New Year, Tilbeast. Um, yeah, mistake. Right? Ah, yeah, fair enough, Harry Koo. Yeah, that's the thing. Max Spleenrup is in the game. Yeah, no, God, if I could have Cheney, I would. I think Cheney's probably the best. 
the best. Well, okay, Griff is just so good, though, isn't he? Griff is so good <laughs> that yes. even though he costs Griff more, is better than better than Cheney. Mm, but Cheney's so much value for money, though. It's 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 unbelievable, isn't he? And strength four and frenzy is so good. And wrestle means that he can get the ball down. Like obviously, a lot of the time you'd rather have blocks, so he gets. But then it depends if you're down TV. I against think against dwarves, with the ball that block, you almost prefer the wrestling. Yeah, but against lots of teams, because you're down, because you're down TV with with Cheney, you often you because you're two forty TV down to get Cheney, it means that you wrestles better really because they're going to have a lot of block because you're down two hundred forty TV. So. You can't be down 240 TV without your opponent having a lot of block, can you? It's just literally not possible. So in many ways, him having wrestle is better than having block. Um, even though objectively it makes him worse. In a vacuum, you would never build him with wrestle. Um, as it happens, it won't, turns out quite right. Hopefully this doesn't work out like the last game and I get all the removals with claw bomb instead of just getting banged on by all the mighty blow and guard. He's actually got much more Mighty Blow. The, the Orcs only had like three Mighty Blow, didn't they? Two or three Mighty Blow. It was just mostly not even Mighty Blow hits that were getting removals. Exactly. Random, random Orc Block has. Yeah. I mean, see, Borat gets three dices with Mighty Blow to, to take down the ga the the Blodgers. It's not it's not terrible, um, I think. Ducky's uh, trying to convince me that Black Hoof doesn't have Claw. Uh -huh. I'm starting to think he might be right. Yeah, Blackhoof does not know. Nashrak Blackhoof does not have claw. Oh man. Right. Who's the big mentor that starts with claw, the cell player? He doesn't. I he swear doesn't, there's one. He doesn't start with, with claw. I'm just going to go on the line. If, although, as much as I'd love to blitz him, I'm just going to get this guy on the line. Fuck it. Why well, has he played him before? You'd be able to remember the sort of stuff he did. I think he gave you hits on the ball, and I think he just got lucky removals, didn't he? Yeah, he made, he made, he made eleven, um, eleven. He made twelve AV breaks and eight, eight cars and three KOs. <laughs> yeah, just, just. I remember him getting lucky. Yeah. So just don't, don't get unlucky this match. Yeah. That should be the plan. Yeah, it's an easy. I suppose Troll Slayer too. Yeah, yeah. I just don't really have. The men, I mean, I'll try and mighty blow him, but, you know, we'll see. I guess he can come back down here. I'm not too worried about him getting a blitz, am I? Oh, also, with that conceding distraction, we didn't get post-match um, analysis of the team. You've got Wrestle on your dirty player. Uh, I'm the type that fires dirty player linemen when they get... Is Are you of the same mentality? Or have you only kept him because your team's currently on the band? Yes, exactly. I've kept him because because it's too late to sack him. I wouldn't sack him unless I had a second dirty player. And even then, wrestle dirty players fine. You know, people are often targeting. You saw that game. The the, the tackle <coughs> pommer was targeting him. And wrestle yeah. if if he gets targeted by a killer, wrestle can be devastating because then they've basically got to re-roll that both down because they know that he's going to take them down and foul them next turn, which is really good. Um, yeah, Hubris and Silly Billy. Silly Billy especially because he's on a Lizard Man team. If Silly Billy was on any other team, Silly Billy wouldn't be so good. But obviously it's the fact that he, he replaces a skink makes him completely fucking unbelievable. But um yeah, it's hard it's hard to quantify, isn't it, exactly? See you later, Grindel. Um Right, let's have a look. So I'll I'll mute myself now. I'll leave you in the capable hands of Fash. Thank you very much. And uh see you on the other side. Oh man. Well, there you go. It'll be nice to be able to uh, play the game. Red, red rocket, luck, chief, red chief, red joker. That's it. I knew it was something. Who got red joker? Not shattering people's dreams. It's like a, uh, it's like imagine you're a local quarterback for your, you know, under under tens American football, and you're there playing your game on your Saturday morning. And you head to the locker room and you see Peyton Manning in the locker room and he gives you a pep talk and you finally met your idol. And then you go and uh, get to throw Peyton Manning and you, you throw the ball further than he does. And he's sitting there in shock going, holy shit, holy shit, this kid just threw the ball further than I did. Let's do it again, kid. The second time you would intentionally not throw the ball far as to not, uh, not crush your idol. That would be it.
I am an accessory. I pretty much murdered them myself. Quick snap's nice, it allows for Mortazaro. The problem with Borak on the outside is that it comes a first action, however, it's a first dice. Love me some three dice. Jimmy never disappoints. So, you know, I, I would usually become scared, I would be petrified. I don't think I could live making dies. Uh, two dies with runners, that's it. But a three die, not so bad. Second three die, niggled Bodger. Keeping the base contact. Hmm, I guess he is niggled. I guess there wasn't really another blitz. And it gives Jim a strong guard line. Yeah, so a good turn one. No, no, look, uh... I, I don't think I've played a viewer that's considered... And, like, no dive in the Krupa Cup final. He, he conceded, but that was only because he was getting banged. That was a salt concede. I don't think I've ever had a pity concede, but I would have asked for one. If I didn't ask for it, if it happened, I would say, oh, it's, it's a respect concede. And that wouldn't be too shameful. But if, I be, if, if you've ever caught someone begging for it, like I don't know firsthand the the Lou or Sage story. Oh man, it's raining. I wonder if the rain's getting picked up. It might only be getting picked up when I talk. Let me know in chat how bad. Uh, let me know how bad the rain is, and I can close the window. I closed the window anyway, as I predicted that it was bad. No, look, uh, you know, just the occasional, you know, blitzer position later on the second half. Uh, but no, for the most part, it's pretty spot on. You can't be, can't be disappointed with uh, with the performance. It does become a lot easier though. Like you were really lucky on those guys, outrageously lucky in giving them and not taking them. I probably wouldn't mean blitzing AV9 guys with my mighty blow bomber, but. That's just me. I mean, you got the pro of having a Nova Warrior on the ground because you've got an easy four strength blitz that you otherwise maybe wouldn't have. Uh, but the con of then you're piling on happens on an 89 gun. Piling on its own on 89 is pretty bad. Whereas I'd be piling on 88 rotters. And so if you look at Jim's team after, even if you got that, you know, first or even the second Kaz, and you're saying, right, Jim's now got no bench. We're both at 11 players. I'd be focusing on rotters. Focusing Rodders lets you do your four strength blitz for no assist. If you're not assisting in blocks, you've got a free man elsewhere to do other important things. But yeah, I also didn't, didn't say much. Because uh, <laughs> Jim asked me not to say stuff. As it might have uh, might have helped you if you were watching. And I, I didn't know if you were or not. Wow. Justice for Jim. So this was the dwarf guy that... Uh, Got a million Kaz in a different game, and tables have turned. Blitz are gone, and a Troll Slayer on turn two. This is the sort of lead that competent coach needs. Well, I, this is all their competent coach needs to absolutely secure victory. A lot of time you'd say, right, turn two, it's over. But 
you know, if if I was playing Jim and I was two men up, I would win that game. Bit of justice. Yeah, but it shouldn't be Carl Ancelotti. Wouldn't it be nice if such extreme randomness didn't happen? Only a stun. Not sent off, though, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, look, this dwarf is now absolutely not stopping this drive. Oh yeah, calling pig gem. And then then say oink. Chat fully fired up, loving some dwarf destruction. Everyone does. Pro doing nothing as usual. Pro is like an inverse wild animal in that 50% of the time it does nothing. And even if it does do something, there's still the 1 in 36. I'd get past before I got pro on a dwarf runner. Oh man, Valor with his edgy man, what the fuck? Must be a concede. Unpunished. I've seen a lot of people do this. Uh, they say, oh, I'm going to concede, so I'm going to finish my turn and then foul. Isn't uh, conceding, though. It's a bit odd. Just risking his edgy full runner without a bribe. What an absolute shitter. Not seeing that punish has me a bit riled. Edgy man now getting pommed. Oh man, Jimmy with the greed. Never lucky. Uh, but Ducky Vol can get the assist on the other runner for a push. No, he can't because the dirty player. You want the dirty player foul. Huh, oh, fouls him anyway. get leader on Brett's on normal, so I'd absolutely get it, but not on lizards. Because yeah, lizards only doubles on everyone to do it. Only a stun again. Feels bad. Um, Dodge there versus standing up. Look, if he just stands up, the trolls there has the two into the two. And then... I guess four strength dwarf, one D's Borak. And if he one D's and follows his subsequent turn, can Dauntless two D Borak and free up the four strength. So I don't hate the dodge. If I can type a troll slain a four strength guy, I would though. As there's just then seven dwarves to meet the rest of your team. Wow, first action, red die. I remember this guy being a shitter too, but 
got lucky in Kaz. So that's all that mattered. That is truly disgusting. A first action red dust block. Sick to my stomach. I think you should go to jail just for that. Uh, yes, pines are north. No oh, man. Got a free troll saying? Nah, I gotta make one of these on board. And I gotta make four pluses. Classic. Good as four strength guard lodge relevant though, so not entirely bad. And I guess as a final action, the four plus dodge with the dodge skill isn't terrible. Feeding the uh, Troll Slayer to the Mighty Blow to make Dauntless 1Ds. But I mean, that's what you expect when you see a Dwarf with 5 rerolls. You know he's going to be doing janky shit. And similarly, Jimmy did make that greater roll on his Agi 4 runner. Admittedly worth it. A Pom on an Agi 4 runner. Amazing. But. Yeah, down to 1 on turn 4 is a bit scary. Oh man, loving these three dice block. One in nines on guys with block feels good, man. It's a double skull and a one in nine. Uh, it could be a rotter assist for the frenzy on blodge guy. And that would allow other rotter to come around to get the block on the runner. Ah, uh, yeah, but I guess Jim really wanted the his Palmer protected, which really is quite important. Potential Surf Arena. This is nice, even on pushes, just because he's now pinned on the sideline, being forced to dodge. Um, he takes the final action, uh, or or a blitz to attempt to clear. And he's blitzing to attempt to clear. His Palmer's not blitzing. Uh, the risks are uh, the runners freeing other runners. Down for strength guard assist to get the one dice on the pommel. And this is another long bid red die for a push to allow the 2D. Uh, no bribe. It keeps the boat down. What a madman. And good. Punish for sure dodges. 
They should, those should absolutely be final action and not uh, not early in the turn pre blitz. Good. Wow, why didn't Absolute the first game up. against him go like, so I hate it when this happens, uh, this happened before with a different team, I played a Dwarf team that just batched the fuck out of me, and then when I got the rematch, they just conceded when things went a little bit bad in the first yep. few turns. It makes me so mad, maximum risk players who just do every piece of dumb shit that they can, yeah. with you know every single reroll use on every single fail, regardless of you know, what it is or how important it is, and then when they finally get punished for doing it, Man. that they do. Should get punished where they then concede. Russell's me. Yeah, it really rustles me that I lost to this guy because that's how easy that game could have been. <laughs> yeah. Could have been the easiest game in the world, just like that one, and instead it was just a horrible, horrible match where he made twelve AV breaks into eleven removals. <laughs> um so two of them were self inflicted. Yeah. Yeah. And then three were fouls. Yeah. So I mean I don't think gyms were outrageous. Yeah. Concede, yeah, exactly. Did you call him pig? Oh man, that was pretty quick. <laughs> it was pig that pushed him over the edge. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. That'll do. Pig is going to be my is going to be my trademark to get people rustled, isn't it? Um, oh man. But yeah, it was obviously nice to get a win without without getting beaten up by dwarves. Was good because even if I'd beaten him in the end, Danka. Even if I'd beaten him in the end, it wouldn't have been painless, would it? You know. Um, it wouldn't have been painless. So I'm happy with the win. I'm just Russell that I didn't... It, that's how easy the win could have been the first time I played him. <laughs> um, he didn't really. Didn't even burn the upper. I'm definitely going to go... Um, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, okay. I want I want two dirty players. <laughs> I could go wrestle. I could go drop... I could drop the wrestle dirty player now and go down to 13 men. Um, but I'm starting to get a decent TV now, aren't I? This is... Um, I wouldn't mind two dirty players with 14, 14 men. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Joe San, yeah, thank you. But um, it's because I'm trying to concentrate and um, not dis be distracted at all. And then if people can see me, that, that distracts me a bit. <laughs> I know it's a bit lame, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Dropping him, going down 80 TV would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Because at the moment, I've got one. these eight on my eight positionals that are protected, aren't they? So either he'd just be a reserve. Um, a reserve dirty player is, is fine, to be fair. Um, or he would just be on the line with Wrestle. So, um, yeah, I do have a little bit too much money. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Hello, VIP von Steinberg. Yeah, I'll definitely be getting rid of that money, whatever happens. So might as well do that now. Um, so yeah, if I take Dirty Player, I'll be two more. So I'll be 1,800. That's getting really high, actually, isn't it? 1,800. So yeah, maybe go Dirty Player. But then I wouldn't mind having two Dirty Players for like the actual finals. So I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I'd, I do like Double Dirty Player at high TV, and I'm getting to high TV now, just with severely undeveloped Pestigors, really. I wouldn't mind a second Pestigore at this TV. I mean, I think Wrestle Dirty Player, Rotter is better than a rookie Pestigore. 14 players, I'm fine with 14 players, because as you saw, the games that I've lost have been... Um, games where I was bashed off the fucking pitch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I'll go. I, I like two dirty players. Yeah, if one of the others levels up, then I'll then I'll sack the wrestle. But then I could give them. I could give them wrestle and still keep the wrestle dirty player. The record now, Sam Davies, is 21-6-2 with a massive asterisk because one of those wins would have been a draw or a loss. Um, but yeah, it's looking it's looking all right. Still, still a ways to go, though. Um, 
A frenzy guy has not really been good, to be honest. In fact, the frenzy was bad. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of good. Kind of good. He could have got some surfs and stuff. Yeah, it's funny that the Tentalica... This was meant to be a fun team where I took Tentacle first in the Warriors, but because I started to have a decent record with them, like won the first five or whatever, I started building them seriously. Though, to be fair, all of these three guys, their third skill will be Tentacle. Um, and obviously this guy's two Kaz away or an MVP away from getting... Claw, which would be really lovely. And now that Ducky Fago got an MVP, I really wanted and and Best Fago has made his seventy six. I want to. I guess now I want to try and focus as many touchdowns on Ducky Fago if, as I can to get Mighty Blow Claw. Maybe get them on this Warrior. Maybe get a, maybe replace this. Maybe when I get a second dirty player, replace this Rotter with a fourth Pest. Um, but eighteen hundred is just massive, isn't it? The thing is, it's probably good on ladder because there's probably not that many other 1800 TV teams. It's, um, yeah, I really do like tentacles because purely because when you look, Stand Firm is amazing, obviously. Oh, God, Stand Firm is so good. I would obviously like them to have guard, Stand Firm, tentacles, but tentacles is really, really good. Uh, the worst team ever get a beast. Maybe Ducky, maybe for the finals, like if. Somebody was to concede, and I had twelve fifty t twelve fifty in the bank. Then I would think about buying one and stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, against the Masters Rats, I'd rather have tents, wouldn't I? Um, yeah, higher TV is just better on ladder. Yeah, it's probably true. Red Joker. Yeah, 